Hello, how's everybody doing? I'm with my boy uh, Terrence, Terrence Johnson. Uh, basically, we're gonna talk about uh, women aren't really, really. What's it called? Rehabilitation centers. Yeah, they're not. Okay, what's your thoughts about that? So my thoughts about that, Jonathan. My experience in life, I'm from I'm from the ghetto. I'm from West. I'm from um, North Miami, but um, where I'm from, I seen women taking care of men and. It's not the fact that they can't find a job. It's the fact they won't look. They found them a woman that is, what's the word I'm looking for? Naive enough to sit there and take care of a grown man. He's sitting up on your couch eating a snack. Excuse me. He, eating your kids, your kids' snacks. He eating your kids' snacks. You know, he doesn't want to work. He doesn't have no ambition, no vision, nothing. All he wants to do is just waste your time and live off you. We don't want to, don't, just not self-motivated. You know, that's one thing we got to do as men. So motivated, uh, living off a woman that's unacceptable. Hus living off a woman is not a hustle. Yeah. It, it has to stop being acceptable. It has to be a stop being an acceptable form of life. And I see it happen so much. So many good women taken advantage of by a man that would be with somebody else the next day. Next given day. Women, start valuing yourselves more than that. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you, can't, you can't help a man that's not self-motivated. Mm -hmm. What do you look like taking care of a grown man? What What are you telling your children? You have little girls in that house, little boys in that house. What message are you sending? You're sending a message that this is okay. This is okay. He's not down on his luck. He's just not going to try. He sees that you're naive. <laughs> I hate to say it, sisters, but a lot of y'all be naive. No, no, no. He's not struggling. He ain't had no job before you met him. You knew... You knew you knew that snake was a snake when you when when it, when it got in your car. Yeah. You knew that snake was a snake before it got in your car. You thought that you can change that snake. You can't change its nature. That's its nature. Yeah. All that has to come from within. Um, he has to he has to want want to be do good for himself. It's not your job to keep trying to push him, push him, push him. You know, it's okay to have a down season. You know, a season where everything's not going right. But him as a man needs to make sure to dust himself off and get back out there, you know. He'll be unemployed th three, four months. That's okay. That's fine. Help him out. But shouldn't he, years after years after years, Cheryl's still there trying are to hold him. There are jobs out there, sisters. Still trying to hold him down. Trust me. I have an associate's degree. I was picking up garbage because I wanted a job so bad. I'm married. I wanted a job so bad that I took any job given. Any job given. It wasn't the job that I wanted. It was below the pay that I wanted, but I took it because I'm self-motivated. I'm, I'm an inspiration to the ones that I've been homeless. I've been without. It's not your job to pull that man out that status. If he's not self-motivated, he's going to take whatever little bit you got out of you and take it all. Mm -hmm. Facts, you know. As men, I said you should be self-motivated. Uh, with or without a woman, you have to make sure that you're always trying to uh, climb the ladder, always trying to get better each and every day, mentally, physically, spiritually as well. You know, that's one thing we have to work on and continue to strive, strive and climb the mountain, you know. You shouldn't have to have women keep telling you, oh, you need to go get you a job, you need to go out there and hustle and stuff. That's, you that's don't have to tell within. a man, you don't have to tell a man what to do. A man already knows what to do. That's the whole definition. Man stands for meets all needs. Meets all needs. Whatever your need is. You know, it's not it's not your job to take care of a man. A grown boy, a burden on you, it, it's unacceptable taking care of a grown man. Like I said, it's unacceptable. You know, like I said, a grown man need to go out there and work. He need, he need to be able to protect you, provide for you, and lead you. And he can't do that. He's not working. He's not being active, you know. And when, when we say the word lead, separate but equal. Separate but equal. Think about think about that for a minute. Separate but equal. If we got women working as hard as men out here, what message are we sending out to our little boys? We building some strong women out here. And some of these men are some strong women too. Yeah. If y'all catch what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's too many women out here working. Too many. Working, out working men. And it's unacceptable, you know. We're supposed to be the backbone and carry and lead women. And a lot of times they're carrying us and through thick and thin. And it's unacceptable. We have to, we have to put... We got to start carrying our weight as men. It's embarrassing. 
Yeah. We got other races out here looking at us, black people, because that's who, that's, that's who my message is for, black women, black, black women. men. You know who you are. Stop carrying extra weight. Stop being with somebody because y'all got kids together. No. No. The fact of the matter is, y'all might have kids together. Y'all might have been together since high school. But you know what's good for you. You know inside of you. You women have what it's called intuition. You know when something's not right. Mm -hmm. When you get that funny feeling, you know something ain't right. You, you listen to that feeling. You listen to that feeling. Yeah, always go with your intuition, you know. You know right from wrong, but a lot of times, a lot of women, y'all see the red flags, but whatever reason may be, I think you like to gloss over it. I mean, we do the same thing as men, too, but as far as just women. Yeah, the, the, the country's out to get us. Yep, everybody knows the whole country don't like black men, but guess what? It ain't no excuse to stop being a man. That's what I'm it saying. It ain't no excuse. That's what I'm saying. I don't care what time it is. I don't care 1950, 2002, 2003. A lot of guys we feel like this equality just means um, about working and stuff, that she can do her own thing. Yes, she's independent, but she still needs a strong man to lead her and guide her. And let me speak of that equality. Now, first of all, if we talk about the 60s, the 70s, black women were housewives. There was nothing wrong with that. And men, black men at that time were being men at that time. We, there was a generation of men mm -hmm. that was around that time. They took care of their women. Now, just because... You got certain individuals, European women, that want certain freedoms. That don't apply to you. That didn't apply to black women. Black women were already respected amongst the black community. Now, I'm not saying don't, go, don't be driven and don't go for your career. But what I am saying, sisters, don't settle. Settling will have you settling for the rest of your life. Exactly. If you settle for one thing, it's going to be another thing. You settle for that, it's going to be something else. You got to, how do I put this? You got to have positivity in your life. You, you got to. You got to in every aspect. You can't want somebody and still hang around single people. Single mm -hmm. people are single people for a reason. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying, people? Yeah. Single people are single because they want to be single. <laughs> You hang around people that are already a couple, already married. That shows that, I'm not saying live off their experiences, but you're less likely to do something with somebody that's married or already a couple than hanging out with your single friends. Because mm -hmm. you can't do what single people do and then want a relationship. Mm -hmm. You can't want a man and have a boy living in your house. Yes. Yeah, those, thi those things just don't coincide. That's what I'm saying. I always got to keep telling him to pick up the trash and do dishes, laundry. That's unacceptable. He should already, that should come, up, that should come from within, you know what I mean? And then the you're not, and you're not an employee of his. Yeah. Just because you have kids don't mean you got to stay in that relationship, sisters. Most likely, you'll see more money once he's gone. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. Period. Yep, and then this whole notion of uh, just just a piece of the man. I really have a piece of a man than a whole man. Um, that's that BS to me. I feel like you should. I think every woman deserves a fully grown man to spend spend her life with, spend her time with. You know, just having just having bits and pieces of men is it's unacceptable. We have to do better as men to self improve and be better men, so we can, so they can choose better from us. And why would you settle for a piece when you can have the real thing that's waiting out, out there waiting for you? No matter how many dudes you done been with, no matter what, what body count you got, there's somebody out there that values what you have. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's billions of people on this earth. It's somebody out there that has what you need, that wants your personality type, that wants to take care of you, that wants to love on you. All you have to do is be open and willing to be loved. Yeah, you got to be open, you got to be transparent, and you got to be real within yourself and ask, and ask yourself, like, what... What is it that I want and what do I, I'm not going to settle, I'm not going to compromise, you know. You got to have your own values, your own core values, standards, and understand what you want out of, out of the world, out of the relationship, out of yourself. And, and don't problem, settle. The problem with us now, people were created, how do I put this, how do I put this? Things were created to be used 
And people were created to be loved. But see, the community's in chaos right now because things are being loved and people are being used. And mostly women. Yeah. You know, too many women out here just being just used. Just being used. Being a doormat. Um, a dude, dude doesn't feel like he needed to go out there and court you, date you, or do anything. All they feel like... Stop, stop, stop making it easy for them. That's what just I'm saying. Just stop making it easy for them. Get those busters out your life. Just stop making it easy for them. Stop stop being easy with them. Exactly. You know, it's, it's unacceptable. You know, you have to you have to keep baby the man to... Having to come out your purse and pay for half your dinner. That's not a date. Let me tell you this, ladies. Let me say this. If you pay half for a meal, you took yourself out to eat. I don't care how you feel about that, ladies. If you pay half for your meal, you took yourself out to eat. He didn't take you on a date. Men don't mind paying. Men don't mind paying. They'll pay your way and his way. Yeah, and also, like I said before, you have to get reservations as a man. Make sure everything is set up, you know. You have everything arranged. That's your job to lead, lead the interaction. Um, don't have her, don't put too much on her plate, you know. She already has enough she has to deal with in her daily life, and you're, you're, trying, to, you're trying to be her peace, her peacemaker, not add stress to her, you know. Exactly. And it, it's so sad to see some of y'all walking around here, and I, I, I see the dude that, you, that you're with. I can't judge him because, well, if, if you have faith, you believe God can't judge nobody, that's BS though, y'all. You, you see it right there in front of your faces. You know that the person is no good. Be good to your soul. Be good to your own soul. If you really care about your soul, you wouldn't be with that person. It, I, could, I, I really can't. I just seen just men take stuff out of women. Love. Integrity. They just pulling it out of you. Pulling it out of you. So by the time you do get with somebody that cares about you, yeah, I you mean, got nothing left in you to give. Yeah, and your guards are up as well. I mean, you feel like, oh, this guy, just like the other guys, when this guy really wants to come in there and be and and, and make you complete, you know, you 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 dust him off because you feel like, oh, he's just like everybody else. But this guy, me, man, he could he be coming there to help you out, you know. But you've been dealing with so many grown boys that you haven't that you haven't really you can't really recognize a king, you know. Warning signs of a dude that you're talking to might be talking to somebody else. Number one, if he's on the phone during the date, that's the end of that date, ladies. That should be the end of that date. I'm sorry. Both of you. Telephones out. Just that that's your first warning sign, that phone. Because we we love we love him to death. I can see getting an emergency call, but when he takes you out, your full attention he should have your full attention and likewise. In fact, you know, if he doesn't open your door or doesn't want to see you first, um, that's red flags to me too, you know. And also, when the bill comes, he's, he's, he's the, he's the one that takes the initiative to pay. And that's a red flag right there too. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. And don't fall for the guys that have game. Game is it, it's sweet to hear how beautiful you are, buy you a little something. Stop letting your love be bought mm -hmm. for dinner, for a ring, for... Uh, a hotel room, a blunt. Mm -hmm. Stop letting your love be bought. Let him earn your respect. Let him earn his place with you. A real man doesn't mind earning that. You don't mind helping out a real man. You can tell the difference. You ain't gonna have to complain. A real man, if he's lacking, he's gonna try to get it. Best believe that. He's gonna try to get it. If he ain't trying to get it, that ain't no real man. No, because like I said, man, going like even on his off days, he's gonna make sure he's still grinding mentally, uh, physically, spiritually. He's gonna make sure he's grinding. Oh, his intellect's gonna be up to par, you know. Always thinking about what can I do next, and not getting complacent, and understands your love language or whatever, whatever it may suit you, you know. Yeah, that's what a, that's what a real man gonna do. And guys, I'm gonna say this: stop searching for sexual gratification with these women. There's a lot of good women out there, but the first thing, you, first thing we as guys look for, I'm going to say this because of myself. That's been my personal experience before I grew up. Sexual gratification. Of course, I thought the chicks I was with wasn't nothing. I hit on the first night. That was, my, that was what I was looking for, and I found exactly what I was looking for. Now, 
when I wanted a woman that sat down, read books, drunk water, mind her own business, and cared about the community, that's what I found. Instead of somebody to sleep with for the night. You find, you're looking for somebody to sleep with for the night. There's plenty of people out there to do that with. But don't be surprised when you continue to get the same results and you're looking for the same thing. That goes for the ladies too. Stop looking for just sexual gratification. Stop looking just for mutual gratification. Any guy can buy you something. But value the guy that taught you something over the guy that bought you something. Always. Yeah. You know, that's one thing... One thing you gotta do, like I said, you gotta have your standards, you gotta have your core values, you gotta know who you are as a person. Cause a lot of times I deal with disrespect, um, men treating you any kind of way, putting their hands on you mentally, physically, that's unacceptable. You gotta, unacceptable. Know, you gotta know who you are as a woman. Verbal abuse, and now I take light when I say this. I've been married about two, almost going on two years now. And within the first few months of my relationship, I realized I had to go to therapy. Why? I was being verbally abusive to my wife. You know why? Because I was with ratchet people before then. And the way they responded to me is the way I talked to my wife. And it took her to say, baby, that hurts my feelings. Baby, you could be a little bit nicer to me when you speak. We should always speak to our loved ones a little bit softer. We shouldn't be so hard on each other. And especially when you got a good person by your side. Me, I had to fix the way that I talk to my woman. Yeah. And I said, my woman, yes, mine. I am possessive. Possessive and territorial. You can be possessive and territorial over something that you already have. It's not called jealousy. It's called being territorial. Yeah. You know, like I said, it's funny how we'll sit up there and... Treat everybody with respect, co-workers, uh, people, restaurants, um, bus, on bus rides, but we come home to our lady and want to disrespect her. Um, that's unacceptable. And verbal, verbal abuse, it really does hurt. It does. I was, I was hurting the person I was with. And the fact that I, she let me know that is the fact I got it fixed. Your lines of communication should always be open. Always be open. Don't ever close your lines of communication. If you can't talk about it right then, save it for later. Write a note. Write it down. Put a piece of chocolate on the bed. That's what I do. When I want to talk to my wife about something that's going on, I put a piece of chocolate on the bed, and she knows that I have a problem with something. Yeah, and like I said, one thing we got to think about, too, is men is just um, learn how to express ourselves and not not being judged. Um, you know, women, they want us to express ourselves. When we're, that, when we're sad, happy, depressed, they do want us to reach out to them. And we have to be open and comfortable to reach out to them without being judgmental at the same time. You got to have effective communication. You are a team working together as a team. There is no his problems, my problems. There's only we problems. There's a problem with you. There's a problem with me. And I should be man enough to sit there and listen to what you have to say. And you should be woman enough to listen to what I have to say. Facts. And if it's true love and it's truth that come out your mouth, nothing should be feel offended. The truth does hurt. The truth does hurt. But it feels so much better than a lie. So much better than a lie. It's lies just seep into your pores and it, it hurts you so bad. It hurts you for a long time. The truth, you'll be so happy somebody told you the truth. Yeah. For me, for my, my opinion, I love the truth. I love when my wife tells me the truth. Yeah. Yeah, though, uh, we got to wrap it up pretty soon. Uh, it was a good night, night chatting with y'all. Y'all like, share, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Everyday Thoughts. Um, everybody, y'all have a blessed day. Peace. One.